Hey, hey, Dana Ward and I caught up with Paul Fisher and Olga Tavares from CW's Remodeled, and they gave us some tips and tricks to becoming a model, and let me tell you, it's not easy. And we were very excited to see you guys walk. Well, you go first. I'm nervous. Oh, I'm Is there anything, first and foremost, that a model should think about when they're doing the walk? Um, I think really what you should be thinking about is you're confident, you're sexy, you're beautiful. Everyone in this room wants to be me, wants to be with me, and wants to look like me. So you have to have that in your head as you walk. And I think then you kind of kill it. Yeah. I will start. All right. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it just make us want to laugh? Because <laughs> I mean, like, we're awful at this. Well, wait a minute. First yeah. of all, first of all, how did you feel doing that? I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't get nervous often, but I feel like when all eyes are on you, That's right. you know, people are watching your feet, your legs, your your face. It's a little intimidating. The only uh, critique I would give, and you guys can do it again if you want, um, is. Always, when you're walking down the runway, you kind of have to throw your shoulders back a bit mm -hmm. and bring your hips forward, almost as oh. if someone were pulling you from the pelvis with a little string. Oh, kind of better. let that lead you, uh -huh. and then your foot one over the other. Oh. So it's kind of a very specific shoulders back, hips front, and one over the other. And I think that is the basic walk for any model. So you guys want to give it another try? Well, and before, here's what I think. Yeah. I think it was great. Can I tell you why? Because most people, they, they, they make it like too over-exaggerated. Mm -hmm. they, they do like a stop and pop, and they move their hips back and forth. <laughs> and in reality, what you're supposed to do is just kind of normally walk back and forth, kind of just like you're walking down the street, a little, a tiny little bit of extra movement, but kind of normal. And, and so you guys did an incredible, incredible job. But Brie, no hands on the hip. Too sassy. Kind of just, kind of just let it, let, let it flow. It. But oh. I'm telling you guys, you guys did incredible. It, you are too kind. I'm telling yeah. you straight out. They do the hands on the hip once you get. To the That's floor. right. To the end, oh. yeah. Kind of. That's right. But you guys did great, and you look beautiful. So oh. let's do it one more time. Thank you. All right. Is that cool? And I'm gonna remember shoulders back. No, nope, no the hands. hips a little bit. There you go. But not too much. Of That's that. right. That's right. Okay. And no hands on the hips. That's right. like my go-to, like. And, and, until you hit, until you hit your spot. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try this. Ready? Scene. Incredible. Much better. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Versace. Hips. That's Prada right there. If that's not Prada. Gorgeous. Wow. I'm telling you. The bomb. But the bomb. Not all things are in life. Practice makes perfect. That's so, right. You know, that's probably right. Probably just go in front of your mirror. That's right. Practice your face, your hips, your shoulders. Et that's right. That's yes, right. Yeah. Girls, if you want to model, please wear heels. Don't wear sneakers and flats everywhere you go because you really have to learn how to walk in heels and you guys are great. Right, because that's one of the toughest things because you, when, you're, when you're really doing real shows, you're wearing big old heels and so yeah. you got to feel really super comfortable yeah. as you're doing that. So practice, 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 practice. But you guys don't need that much practice because you guys are very cool. Well, great thank coaching. thank you so much for teaching us the run. Right. right, now the photo shoot. Now the photo shoot. Yes. Okay. Give us some pointers first. Our company at the network, what we believe in is that there's no modeling in modeling. I know that sounds weird. We believe in photojournalism, capturing a moment in time. So it's not like you gotta kinda get all animated and do all the, it's, it's we're trying to catch a moment where you'd be normally doing what you're normally doing. Does that kinda make sense? Mm -hmm. And I think what happens many times is people get kind of over-exaggerated, they think they gotta do all these poses, kinda like in Zoolander, they did the blue steel or something <laughs> like that. There ain't no blue steel in the modeling industry. You just wanna be comfortable and kinda be who you're, and do what you normally do and, and allow the photographer to kinda capture that moment in time. Kinda more photojournalistic the kind of model. And this is yep. also key. When you're on a photo uh, on a shoot and you're on set and a photographer is counting on you to move, any time he clicks the camera, it, you're supposed to change to the next thing. So you should always wow. be giving the photographer energy and moving right. as they shoot. So wow. I think we should yeah. fake a little camera and see how they move. This sure. is Carmela, everyone. She's gonna be our amazing photographer. So, so we have this great photographer. So so every time you click, Carmela, we wanna make sure that uh, beautiful Dana and Brianna, they, right. they, they move every time there's a click, because if not, we're gonna 
make sure that they do. Okay, give us a direction. Give yeah. us a scene. Well, and, a, and a couple of other things with your hands, okay? Mm -hmm. Whenever you put your hands, w w what you want to do with your hands is make sure that your fingers are always long. You never want to do what we call a claw. So you always want to go like that, or like that, or like that. Make sure the fingers are always long, no claws. Okay. Oh, okay? okay. That and, would make sense. Cool. And then there's a couple of other things that you, you got to do. Whenever, like let's say you turn your, 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 your face towards a certain way, mm -hmm. you want to be able to push your shoulder back so you don't have the wrinkles in your, in, that's right. So, they, so that's exactly right. Oh, okay. so, so you want to make the, the, the neck as long as, as possible as, as, so you don't have any lines there. Okay, so we're, we're actually shooting a Prada campaign. Okay. You guys are the Prada girls. Okay, so, and I don't want to be disrespectful or anything, but okay. we have to have you guys kind of close and kind of kind of ne next to each other. So okay. pretend like we okay. like. Really so yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Serious, right? Yeah, serious. No smiles, Brianna. <laughs> Brianna, you cannot smile. That's right. So you know what we know when a kid shows up to a casting that's completely made up, and she's trying extra hard. You know what we know? Nobody wants her. Nobody wants what nobody wants. Everybody wants what everybody else wants. Mm -hmm. So you have to kind of go as if. You have to go as if I am that great model. You have to go as if. I've just worked 40 days in a row, I'm here. So you gotta be cool, but almost, not like you don't care, but like, hey listen, I'm here, how you doing? Yeah. Next yeah. casting. So yeah. what are the items that you need to bring in your model bag for a casting? Olga. Including um, what you're wearing. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, always um, probably lip gloss is really good, because you don't want to show up looking all, you know, I, and carry the heels in your purse. You can show right. up in flats, mm -hmm. and if they need you to get in heels or walk for them, you know, if you go to show castings, a lot of the times you'll have to do that. Um, I would say always kind of be as not plain, unless you have incredible personal style, which a lot of the girls in New York that have been working acquire that, but mm -hmm. if you're just starting out, be very, very kind of simple and classic. White tank top, jeans or leggings, little flowy kind of dresses so they see how long your legs are and your limbs and you know very very little makeup the hair off the face pulled away so they can really see what you look like right not a lot of foundation not a lot of base not a lot of blush maybe bring out your eyes a little bit things like that but we want to see exactly what do you really really look like yeah. Yeah. really look like so then we can figure out and we don't waste our time are you right for our campaign are you right for our, our clothes that's what we're trying to figure out as quickly as we possibly can it should look effortless yeah and, and if you're super beautiful which, by the way, straight out you guys are, you don't have to try. When you're really, really beautiful, you don't have to try. And before you go in on that casting, the most important thing to do, see yourself actually getting the job. Believe and you will see. Actually imagine yourself walking down the runway for Mr. Lagerfeld. See yourself on the cover of Vogue. Just imagine it with every fiber of your being. Don't let any doubt enter your mind the universe will open a door for you. Well, there you have it. Tips from the pros. And for more, make sure you check out Remodeled on The CW at 9, 8 central on Mondays. And I'll see you next time on Clever Style.